Hello, Kara Grandel here with another video in the Writer's Encouragement series. And today I would like to talk to you about a tool that I so, so appreciate. If you're like most fiction writers, or maybe nonfiction ones too, when you followed the dream in your heart and the desire to write a book, that was what you thought you signed up for. And then when you get close to the end or at the end of your book writing project, then you start to stick your head out of your little writing hole and you figure out what you should do next. And so maybe you go online and do some research or you go to a conference or meet up somewhere with other writers and you learn that there's a lot more to it when you're done writing the book besides the creative process of sitting down in the chair and writing those words. And most of you by this time have heard of something called platform or the social media or marketing or whatever you want to call it that for your sake. And um, But basically there's this, this whole other side to the writing process that it has to become yours if you want to see your book going towards a publication process, which is what we're on, a publication process. Whether you're independent published or you're um, published through traditional means, it doesn't really matter because um, it's kind of like the fuel to the fire is how much volume you have when you speak out about your book or whatever. So Novel Marketing Podcast is a tool for exactly that, novel marketing. And what it is is these little 15 or 20 minute podcast videos where you get to listen to two fellas, Thomas Umstead Jr., and he's a marketing technology specialist, and James L. Rupart, who is a very established published author, fiction author, come together and talk about the things, the nuts and bolts of what a platform is and the tools inside of it that you need to learn. So what I liked was that they had inside of their podcast, they have a beginner approach as well as an intermediate or an advanced, meaning they don't actually say that to you, but when they start a podcast and they are introduced to a topic, they actually go back and inter tell you what it is they're talking about. So you get this education of the technology and the social media that you might not know. And so if you're completely overwhelmed, that might be the extent of the benefit is just to actually understand what it is that they're talking about. And then they'll say, they'll teach you what it is and tell you why you should or should not do it or if what would benefit you if you chose to do this thing or not. And they proceed to expand on the topic. So it's a multiple level um, education so that you can come in when you're a newbie and listen and learn and take things in. And then you can also, after time has passed and you've learned more and you've got more experience under your belt, you can come back through and those things will make more sense and be able to gain more traction for your personal situation. So, um, you know, all of us have figured out that there's three strands in a braid as a writer and you have your creative side and that you're making new content, whether it's for a blog or a book or whatever, and then you have your editing side where you're critiquing your work and you're getting your work polished and ready for publication, but then you also have the platform social media side. And they it's like a braid, they have to be even evenly spaced, they have to have an even amount of weight on each one in order for there to be a good balance in the long run. So, you know, everybody has to face the platform thing and if you're like me and you go to a conference or you get, find a forum online or you hang out somewhere where you're around other writers and you get this burst of desire to press in and grow this platform that you have, it can be, ex it can feel extremely daunting, like you're standing at the bottom of a big hill and that you have to climb this big hill before you get to the top and have some momentum to take go down the other side with and what I find is that the novel marketing podcasts these little tiny things um, they give me a little bit of traction every day so I feel like I'm climbing the mountain and I'm making progress and sometimes they're just a source of getting your platform brain going. You know, there's skills to platform building. There is um, your voice to find inside the platform building, just like there's your voice to find inside of your creative process with your book writing. And so sometimes when they're talking about it, you can feel inspiration and draw upon it while they're getting the idea out there to you, that maybe the base idea, then you can kind of feel the Lord lead you or whatever you want to call it, inspiration come so that you can find the thing that will work for you. 
And that makes it like, you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? You know, it makes it so it's very much more doable. And you know, there's there's nothing worse than holding still. It's almost like the that you can't find your direction. The Lord can't guide you unless you are moving. And the Novel Marketing Podcast gives you lots of places for you to take a small amount of knowledge, a small learning window in this big thing called platform. A small, they break it down into a small bite-sized piece. And then you chew it up and swallow it, and then you can implement it towards towards the big goal, but it's a small thing to learn. Instead of trying to learn it all at once and get overwhelmed, you can learn a little bit at a time. So um, Novel Marketing Podcast is, they have 67 of them, and like I said, it's a renewable resource, meaning you can go through it at a different level of where, you know, if you grow, then you go back through it, then it will speak differently to you than it does the first time. And it's Thomas Umstead Jr. and James L. Rupert, and they have different things. And if you comment on there and you participate with them, then sometimes they will even spotlight you, which of course extends your reach and improves your own platform. So um, thank you to the boys. They don't even know I'm doing this. This is I have no skin in the game. This is a commercial just because I found this tool valuable. And it has encouraged me and inspired me and helped me not get overwhelmed or stuck in the intenseness of the learning that has to take place in order to um, do a good job at the marketing or platform side of the book writing industry. So be encouraged. Stick together. If, if we stick together in a group, we can draft together and make progress together and support each other in a way that makes it so that you don't give up so easy. There's lots of writers who give up, and that's really the only failure out there, right? So have a good day, and thank you again from um, Writer's Encouragement, Kara Grandel. Um, you can find me at karagrandel.wordpress.com. I'm on all of the, the social medias, including Periscope, under my name, C-A-R-A-G-R-A-N-D-L-E. Have a good day.